a not too uncommon sight of a wibbly wobbly wiggly rocket, Kerbal Space Program is very good at this. But you can shore up your rockets with one awesome mod. This mod is called Quantum Struts Continued, and there are two Quantum Struts included in the pack. If I go over to this, you'll see that I have normal struts, and then I have two Quantum Struts. There's the other one. Okay. These two Quantum Struts are going to be used on this rocket, and you can see I have a docking collar in the middle of my rocket. This is going to prove my point that I can get this to space without the docking collar failing. This is kind of cool because it actually acts just like a normal strut, but it is far, far better than the normal struts because they are reusable, which is why I have four pointing out the top of my rocket, and there are actually two on the space station that we're about to go to. So, today I also discovered that MechJab does have problems once in a while because this is probably the most frustrating mm, maneuvers, no, not maneuvers, but rendezvous that I have ever had to do in Kerbal Space Program because even with the efforts of having McJab, this really took a lot longer than I <laughs> expected it to. Seriously, I mean, McJab is supposed to help automate this whole thing, and apparently I don't have enough research to actually unlock the final stages of McJab or something but McJeb had a rough time. If you noticed, all six of my outer rockets did not pinch inward. That's because I'm using quantum struts even on those to shore up the wibbly wobbliness of this rocket. We get into space after a awesome short time lapse and we are almost ready. And check this out. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you this, this shell just to, poof, popping off. That's so cool. And McJeb also, courteous of McJab will deploy your solar panels for you once you're outside of the atmosphere, which is nice. Even with J McJab having troubles today, there's still very little wobbliness in this rocket. And you can definitely tell that we're being able to take rather extreme measures here to make this work. And I'm not actually having to do anything extra just because I have those wonderful quantum struts they hold everything together and they act as solid or solidifiers to the system so now that we're on our trajectory for going to the space station it's only about a minute in this rapidly up sped up time before we catch up to the space station now something that you need to know about quantum struts continued it is a discontinued mod well, sort of a discontinued mod. It appears that the maker of the mod does kind of pay attention to bugs, and he might make edits, but he has not changed his post in, since 2016. So that being said, there's a chance that this is not being kept up, but it still functions with Kerbal Space Program today. Now, this is... Definitely a mod that I really hope Kerbal Space Program 2 either doesn't need at all or has very quickly when Kerbal Space Program 2 launches. Take your pick. I think it would be awesome either way. But having the ability to shore up your rocket or space station or massive production kind of seems like a necessary thing. And it is something that I believe we would actually have measures in place in real life if we were doing more of Kerbal Space Program like travel, where we're building massive ships and even more massive constructions in space. Even though we do have the International Space Station, which is well over the size of a football field, if I'm not too mistaken. But... We're not, like, pushing that around. It just stays static in its orbit. It barely moves at all. But I'm pretty sure that they experience some wibbly-wobbliness whenever they have to make adjustments to the whole station. That being said, I'm pretty sure if it ever became something of a concern to NASA or the other space organizations, they would find ways of making it easy for an astronaut to put on a strut, so to speak, on the outside of the station and make things more stable. Kerbal Space Program, I think, has this, but I haven't played with it really because ever since I found Quantum Struts, 
I have not stopped using quantum struts. I will not play the game without quantum struts. And another thing that's kind of cool is quantum struts have been integrated into the tech tree, so you do have to work towards unlocking them if you're playing in crude mode. It's not just like an easy peasy cheat for and all be all. It, it's found later in the tech tree, and it's kind of hard to get to because you gotta get a lot of science to get to it. Some things to pay attention to as we get into dock, while the camera will automatically zoom out and zoom to the center of everything, which makes it really hard to see these quantum sets attach, you will, uh, when I zoom back in, you will see that all the, f all four of the ones on my ship, and there's actually four on the space station, will have connected to each other and will have locked down this new connection so that there's no wobbliness at all on the space station. I do engage kill rotation just for the sake of stopping us from slowly drifting in a circle because that seems to be what happens when you do dock. And what I just did now, if you notice the UI kind of disapp disappeared, if you hit F2, that is a quick key for making the UI disappear. That's kind of cool. I admit, I didn't even think that was a thing until I gave it a try for today. But... So we can kill rotation, that stops us from rotating, but you see no wobbliness. It's crazy. Now I probably, now in hindsight, should have gone back in and tried to do a twist or something like that, but there is very little that can wiggle around right now on this space station. Even though we're docked perpendicular to a heavier weight, it holds together really well. And that gives you a reason for quantum struts. They automatically connect and they're also individually controllable. You can toggle them on and off if there's one that's in a place that actually doesn't make sense. Like say like I brought in and I uh, docked and I had a solar panel that was in the way of one of the quantum struts. I don't need the quantum strut on a solar panel so I would probably disable that one. And I've got quantum struts on the space station. I've got quantum struts on my ship. And then we have the ones here in the middle that would allow me to disconnect from this lower power, uh, not power source, but lower engine and reconnect to it later on. It's really cool. And I hope you guys like this because while it's not found on CurseForge, I will put the link down below to the forum.kerbalspaceprogram.com post that this is actually found in. The download is still active. You can download it and you can install it just like I taught you in one of the previous videos about how to install McJeb. And voila, you now have all the mods that I personally kind of will not play without. Every other mod beyond this point is just like uh, trying to find something new. Yeah, I don't even have any other mods installed right now. That's all I got for you today. We will see you next time. Leave a comment if you do have a question about any game, and I will try to make a video about it. Bye-bye.